Do you do what you love? My confession is that I don't. I really don't love what I'm doing a lot of the time. And this was something I only found out last week. I really, I had a, a long period of just self-reflection and really digging deep on, on I was quite unhappy the last couple of weeks and I wasn't sure why. And I realized it's because I'm just not doing what I love. And I feel really, today, so much love from everyone. I feel like the message that you need to hear this, that this is gonna help some people, I just, I've, I've needed to say this, is a lot of us, we do things because we're told to, or we think we're supposed to, but they don't actually make us happy. This is one of the biggest things that happened to me uh, just last year was I, I, call, I call it a woke up. You know, I realized that most of what I was doing wasn't making me happy. So why the hell was I doing it? And what I did last week when I was going through this period of just not really being very happy is I made a list. I made a list of all the things that do make me happy. And I just want to share this with you. So these are the things that I love doing. Uh, and I highly recommend you create something similar. Because if you don't know what you love doing, how can you know if you're doing it? So this is what I did, you know, I created this list. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I'm feeling like I'm supposed to. So first thing, top of the list, helping people. Second, making people smile. That's, that's one of my biggest things, I love making people smile. Next is singing. So many of you probably won't know I love singing. I'm sure a lot of you do, but it doesn't bring money in, right? So it's something that gets pushed to the bottom of the list. Um, music, martial arts, learning new skills. I think that's something that hasn't been happening a lot lately is, is learning the progression, the growing. I know that for me, that's one of my biggest values. I don't know if you've ever done this exercise where you work out what your values are. We all have different values and that's why sometimes people, what they want in life conflicts because my values are very different to your values. And so it's just, how can we match those up? But first you have to know what they are. So, you know, make a list of what you love, make a list of your values and, and see what happens because once you get this stuff down, you can make sure you're doing more of it. I'm just gonna share this on my, on my other page um, quickly while, I got it here, two seconds, then we'll get stuck back into the list of what's going on, what we love. I can see some of you are just joining, so that's amazing. I'm just gonna press share now post that. Cool. So what else do I love? Gratitude. This one's on there. When people say thank you, when people say they really appreciate you, for me, that's one of my biggest drivers. And so whenever I do things, I'm, I'm consciously or unconsciously doing it. So people will give me gratitude. So if you're watching, <laughs> that's, that's the way to butter me up. Uh, and you know, even just writing that down, that was a big thing for me. Uh, being silly. I love just jo just messing around, just running about like a big kid, uh, playing, you know, we did a two day event this weekend, and my, one of my favorite parts of the event was wrestling with these two kids, uh, inspiring Vanessa, who <laughs> was beating me up. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was, it, you just, I think we worry too much sometimes. We get so stressed out, we're so focused on work all the time, money and stuff like that. We. When you get those moments of joy, like where you just be crazy and just, you're not thinking about stuff like that. I know when we were out in Kenya, that was one of the best things. Uh, you know, we, we just got a tennis ball and we're playing with the kids in Kenya, just catch, just throwing it. They don't scramble after it. Uh, and then they throw it back to the other team and we created, the, you know, a little game of catch and, and they were laughing and screaming and just for a while you forget all your problems, you know? So being silly is on my list of what I love. Uh, growth. Soul connections. I love when I meet someone and you just have that instant connection. You know, when you just click, like, it's like you're part of the same soul family, you know? It's like, it just instant, instantly, you know you're gonna do great things together. So I love that. So if any of you are watching from my soul family, then I love you very, very much. Extra love to you on Valentine's Day. Uh, new experiences. This is a big one. I always love to be doing new things. When was the last time you did something new? When was the last time you pushed yourself? Really went for it, something big, you know, way out of your comfort zone. 
I don't think, I, I know I don't do that enough, and I'm sure for many of you that's the same. Uh, I'll just rifle through some more of these. So transforming people, making people happy, hugs. <laughs> it's great, you know, um, the event we did this weekend, I honestly think I've had the most hugs I had in my entire life. Most hugs ever. At one point there were people queuing up just to hug. It was so, so beautiful. It makes you feel great, right? You just get that connection, it's really, really cool. Um, animals, big, big animal person. Uh, studying people, and then I just put people. You are so fascinating. The way your mind works, the way you behave, the way you act, what you like, what you don't like, you're so, so, so interesting. And I just love, the more I study people, that the more interesting you become. And I think sometimes we just lose that, you know, we lose that wonder that everything is, life is amazing. Life is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's full of so many incredible creations, inventions that we just can't, there's no way we can wrap our heads around them. And people are one of them, you know, you're so awesome. And then I, then I did this. I think this might be backwards for you, but I wrote myself in big letters with three exclamation marks. But it took me 20 things on the list until I got to myself. So on Valentine's Day, I put this to you. If you are single right now, have a little date with yourself. I just spoke with one of my great friends. He's bought himself a lobster today. He's got himself some wine. He's having a, he's having a date by himself. You know, how long, if, if I said to you, write down a list of everything that you love, how long would it take for you to put yourself on the list? For most of us, I think that would be a long time. For me, it took 20 things. And then that kind of got me in a role of just writing down things I loved about myself. And I highly, highly recommend you do this. So I started just reeling off the things I love about myself. So, you know, being kind, being generous, being loving, being caring, being a leader. I love, I love, I love it when I see people grow. You know, when they, when I take someone from, they, they don't believe in themselves, but I always see like people's potential, it's just it's like a superpower. So I see that they can be so great, they can do such amazing things, and I believe in them enough until they start believing in themselves. And then they just grow and grow and grow, and then they become leaders. And that's really, really beautiful. Uh, a great friend of mine, Eric Coe, he always says, leaders create leaders. And I really, really believe that. What else have I got here? I put being brave, <laughs> it's just going for it. When I, when I get scared, I like to just go and do it. I don't like being scared. I like trusting, I like guiding people. I like being a good friend. I think your inner circle, your friendship group is one of the most important things that you can have. Like having great friends around you who can call you out on your bullshit, who can tell you when you're going off path, who can just give you that brutal honesty. I think that's so, so, so important. And I know, and here's another confession, I haven't always been the best friend. Sometimes, especially with work, getting so focused on me all the time, I do let my friends down. And I've made a promise to myself and to them. I've, I've called them all up, I've sent them all messages. They know who they are, that I'm gonna be a better friend. So, you know, just even writing down that, that I love being a good friend, that gave me the inspiration and the motivation to now be a better friend. Uh, I love peace, clarity, breakthroughs, Best thing, I absolutely love this, you know. You can go and learn a skill, you can go and get some information, but it's up to people if they use it. Like when I teach people business, right? I teach you business and then it's up to you if you go and use that stuff. And most people don't, they don't take action. But when I give someone a breakthrough, like I give them a new way to look at the world, like their mind just expands and it never goes back. I love it when you just push people out of their comfort zone, they have those big breakthroughs and their mind never goes back. And I love it when people give me those breakthroughs. So that made my list. Um, then I put here God, I put nature, and I put life. I think all three of those are synonymous, you know, whether you call it God or the universe or higher self or consciousness or whatever. Nature's just so beautiful, you know, and it's wondrous. It's, it's just, you try and understand it, you've got no chance, you know. <laughs> what makes a tree grow, what makes the sun shine, it's, it's crazy. But it's, it's also amazing, you know. 
How do ants work together? How do they always know where to go? Nature's amazing. And then life. Even when, over the last couple of weeks when I've felt really down, and maybe even, you know, been very upset, still just so grateful to be here, you know? So grateful to have friends, to have a business, to have skills, to have food and everything. Just life is amazing. Doesn't matter how bad things are right now, there's still stuff to be grateful for. And I think that's so, so, so important. So if I'm Valentine's Day, you're not sure what to do right now, really, really recommend go make a list of what do I love. I know this is probably backwards, but what do I love? <laughs> Facebook does things backwards. And then that just sent me off. I was just going for it then. So then I made a list of what do I really want and why do I want it? And that's just pages and pages and pages and pages. Of what do I really want? And I started writing down all my goals. And, and that was it. That flipped me from being in a place where I wasn't sure what I was doing. If I was very unhappy to now I'm like fired up again. And I'm making a promise to myself. Making a promise to myself to do more of what's on this list. To spend more time doing these things that I love. Because yes, we've got businesses to run. Yes, we need to make money. I get that. I get that more than, <laughs> you know, money for me has always been something that wasn't there. Now, those of you who know my story, I grew up in a very, very poor family. Um, had to make a decision a lot of times on whether to eat or pay the bills, a lot of times. So I get that we need to make money, I do, honestly. But making money, going after work, doing all that stuff all the time, it didn't make me happy. And then I had this wake up last year, you know? Met all these crazy people who were like asking me, what do I love? and uh, what are my goals? What are my dreams? What's my vision? All these kind of questions. And then from there, just one sec, you have to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, how are you going to get it? If you don't know what you love, how can you know if you're doing those things? If you just take one thing away from this, just go figure out what is it that you love? What are you passionate about? What do you really want? Because once you know, once you're clear in your mind, the universe can bring those things to you. You are so much more powerful than you even know. We're all just amazing, incredible manifestors. You know, literally anything you want, you can get. And you know, people talk a lot about the secret and the law of attraction, and that's cool. You know, I'm a big believer in that. But there's a missing piece to it. You can visualize what you want all day long, okay? First, you have to know what you're visualizing, right? You can visualize it all day long, but you have to believe you can have it. You have to believe that you are powerful enough to get whatever it is you want to get. That belief is a missing thing that a lot of people don't have. And a lot of the time that's because they don't trust. They don't trust in themselves, in their own abilities. They don't trust in the universe. I can't make you trust the universe. I can't make you believe what I'm saying. And I, and I always tell people, don't believe what I'm saying. Just see what resonates with you and take those parts. This is just where I'm at right now in my story. But I know that I and you are more powerful than you can possibly believe. You can manifest what you want, but you have to be crystal clear. Crystal clear on what you want. And the more you practice it, the better you're going to get. So go make this list. What do I love? I'll tell you the questions again. So make a list of everything. What do I love? You know, this list was powerful for me. I know it's back to front. That's how Facebook Live works when you're on your front cam. And then, what do I really want? And why do I want it? So important, that second part of the question. Write down what you want, but then why do you want it? That's key. If you don't have a strong enough why, then you're not really going to manifest it. So why do you want this thing? Now, a lot of speakers, they talk about what is your why. That's cool, right? Having a purpose. I love that. I teach that, like having a strong vision. But for each thing that you want to achieve, each thing that's on that list of what do you want to do, what you really want, like what do you really want, you need to have a strong why. 
And when you write down what you really want, you'll see if for some of them on my list, here we go, I'm showing you my book now. <laughs> for some of them on the list, there's only three or four things. For others, there's like five, six, seven things. For some, there's only one. It shows me if I really want that thing or not. If I don't have reasons why, then I know I don't really want it, so I don't focus on it. Then I, it tells me which of the things I really want to focus on. Uh, I give this, this uh, exercise to my mentees, so I'll just give it to you, just, I don't know, it's Valentine's, why not? Maybe you do this tonight. We can, the best place for me to manifest things is in silence. You know, we're so busy all the time, we're rushing around, rushing around, rushing around, we never take any time to really figure out what it is we want, okay? And the only place that I really find I can manifest from is when I'm in total silence. So an exercise I get my mentees to do is to spend 30 minutes, three zero, 30 minutes on their own, no distractions, just a pen and paper, okay? Total silence for 30 minutes. And just write down those two questions. Write down, what do I really want? The wording is important. What do I really want and why do I want it? And for 30 minutes, that's all you do. You just go down and you write down what you really want and then, okay, why do I want that? And just see what comes up, right? It's going to be really weird because when you first sit down, <laughs> when you first sit down, your brain's like, this is stupid. This isn't going to work. <laughs> and then the first few you write down, they might, not be, they might not make that much sense. But as you go through, you switch your mind off and you tap into that higher consciousness. You tap into what your soul really wants. Uh, I went to a cool party last night, uh, all around consciousness, and we did this. We just literally, in silence, just asked, what do I really want? And you'll see amazing things come up. So yeah, 30 minutes, try it. See what happens, see if you get fired up. You know, if you're maybe unmotivated right now, if you're not sure what your next step is, what, what do you have to lose? This works for me, it works for my mentees, every time. They come to me with like two, three, four pages of notes, they're like, ah! <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. And yeah, and then the second list is what do I love? I really believe we're here in life to do two things. The first thing is to follow our passion. I believe that's how God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, speaks to us through passion. Napoleon Hill calls it a burning desire. I really believe that. When you have a burning desire for something, when you're like, I have to do it, do it. Amazing things will happen. That's how your soul communicates with you. That's how God communicates with you, through that passion. So follow it. Second thing is following our intuition. If you ever go against your intuition, You'll see, I mean, for me, whenever I go against my intuition, something, it doesn't work out so good. When I follow my intuition, it usually works out pretty good. But we have to listen to that voice, you know. Intuition, some people call it, uh, you're in a guidance. Uh, you know, it's that voice that talks to you. Sometimes it's just a feeling, you know. It's like, you need to do this. The best place to hear that as well is from this quiet space. So... Once you do the 30 minutes in silence, what I recommend then is for the next month, so for the next 30 days, spend at least 15 minutes a day, one five minutes, put it in your diary, 15 minutes per day in total silence. That's your thinking time. That's your time to really understand where you're at. All the most successful people do this because that's where your best ideas come from, when you're in that place. And... Yeah, you know, it's quite, um, Stephen Covey in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he calls it sharpening the saw, okay? Other people call it sharpening your axe. It's just taking that 15 minutes, Tony Robbins calls it 15 minutes of focus. Take that time to really reflect. Are you on purpose? Are you doing what you love? We are not here to do things we don't like. We're not. Yes, you have to work hard. Yes, you have to put the grind in. But put the grind in on the things that you're fired up about. You'll see. The universe will have your back. It'll bring people to you, resources to you, money to you, whatever you need. If you're supposed to do it, the universe will help you do it. But you have to know what you love. 
You have to know what you want and you have to know why you want it. So that's my message for today. Thank you all for watching and listening. Um, it's Valentine's Day today. I love you all dearly. If you're on my Facebook, please connect more with me. Please interact. You know, I'd love to get to know more about you. Send me a message. Let me know what's going on with you. Let me know if I can help. I did a status the other day. Um, I just woke up and I was like, a status. I said, um, how can I help? Ask me anything. And quite a few people messaged. But I'll just extend that out again. If I can help you in any way, just message me. Let me know. No strings attached, nothing. Just, it's Valentine's, why not? Um, let me know what I can help you with. Love to connect with you more. Have a great, great night, everyone. If you don't have a date tonight, have a date with yourself. I'm gonna go over in a bath now with some candles and some nice, nice chill out music. And yeah, just enjoy some time with myself. Love you all. Go out there, be amazing. And just make sure, follow your passion and follow your intuition and amazing things will happen to you. I'm going to read out some comments now because there was a lot of comments. So, do, 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 do. wow, so many people watching. Um, Mona says, adventure. Yes, adventure is really important. Some great tips, Luke. Uh, Marita, I've treated myself today. Awesome, good for you. Pylon, leaders create leaders. They sure do. Uh, be brave, love yourself 100% and give 100% of yourself to a partner. Okay, nice. I, I, loving yourself 100%, you know. This is a question, a lot of, I've seen coaches ask this. Do you 100% love yourself? I don't know, like, does anyone? Is that a real, is that the best question? It's like, there's always going to be an a thing of doubt there and then it's like do I need to work on myself more I don't ask myself that you know anymore I feel like it's not about percentages you know if you're kind to yourself if you're compassionate to yourself that's how you show you love yourself you know if you beat yourself up all the time not so much uh, love it great friends are indeed people who call you out on your BS yes 100% hey Miguel thank you for watching bro I was just out in uh, I was just out in Kenya with Miguel. We were chilling on a beach in Mombasa. Uh, God, nature, and life are awesome. They sure, sure are. <laughs> cool. What else have we got? Uh, I love those questions. Thank you. Yeah. So the questions again: What do I love? What do I really want? And why do I want it? I don't see how it can hurt if you if you're a bit stuck right now to do those. Miguel, you are the director of your life, bro, 100%. This is so, so important. Take ownership for everything that's showing up in your life. When you blame people, you give your power away. When you blame people, circumstances, the government, the economy, blah, 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 Donald Trump's president, whatever your excuses are, take ownership for every single thing that shows up in your life. The good, the bad, the ugly. Everything that has shown up in your life, your past, Take ownership for it, then you can get in control of it. That's something I learned last year. Tada! Hey Luke, hey dude. Um, I keep my list to hand always in my book of dreams. Oh nice, a book of dreams, that sounds amazing. Barbara says hello, Mona says best feeling. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to all, happy Valentine's Day to you, much love. Geraldine, thank you Luke, oh, thank you for watching and Commenting. Yvonne, nice bubble bath and cats. Okay, cool. I, I would like, very much like to have a cat in my bubble bath. <laughs> Don't know if they'd like it too much. I love cats. I love animals. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Uh, Taras, appreciate that. Thanks for sharing. Sam says, hello, hello, Sam. Mona says, Epsom bath salts. Yeah, guys, girls, if you don't already, when you take a bath, use salts. They really help to detoxify you, to help they get extra things out of you. Um... Yeah, Epsom salts, I use Himalayan salts as well. I know a lot of people who use uh, Dead Sea salt. Uh, Paul, Bolivia, yes, hey Bolivia, good to see you. Bolivia runs H Giving, the uh, charity out in Kenya that do all the amazing things. Mona, with those questions, do you write whatever comes up for the entire month? Hey Mona, do the, do the exercise as much as you want. Do it regularly, keep doing it. Why not? With the, with the 15 minutes a day thing, every day, just keep asking those questions and you'll see it, it'll change, it'll evolve. Um, 
Yeah, but you can do it for a week, a month, whatever. Uh, Tim Ferriss does this, he calls it dreamlining. Okay? You write your goals for three months and six months. Um, and that's, that's a pretty cool time frame. But a lot of my friends, they do their five year goals, one year goals, one month goals, one week goals, and then daily goals. It's my friend Duke who teaches that. He says, every morning when you wake up, just say, what's the one thing I need to do today to achieve my goals, to achieve my dreams? And see what the one thing is. Uh, what you want is going to change your whole life. Yeah, of course, we're all evolving. Okay, thank you. We've still got so many people watching. Um, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go enjoy my bath. Have a great night, everyone. Spread the love, you know, it's Valentine's. There's a lot of people out there feeling lonely. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but February is called Suicide Month. Everyone's depressed after they failed their January New Year's resolutions and then Valentine's comes up and they feel lonely. February has the highest rate of suicides. So if you've got any friends out there, send them a message. Tell them you love them. Send them a little picture. Just give them a call, whatever, you know, spread some love. Um, anything we can do to help people who are in that low place is amazing. Um, and maybe tag them in this video. <laughs> who knows? Maybe it can help them. Uh, Miguel, I love you, bro. I love you too. And I love you all, and I'm really going to go now. Have a great night.